Canadian broadcasting should be Canadian and should strive for excellence. The media world has changed a lot since 1970, but Pierre Junot's words still ring true. Canadian content matters, especially when it comes to news. Sun News Network is a new media voice shaking up the news landscape. We produce and broadcast 100% Canadian television and cover stories ignored by other news outlets. Yes, they got rid of the gun registry. But in other areas, they seem to be sending mixed messages. We also broaden the range of opinion in Canadian media. Why did they spend $96,000 on a new Zamboni last year instead of fixing those leaky houses? Sun News is a Canadian content powerhouse. Our dedicated team spans the country with news bureaus across Canada and in Washington, D.C. We produce 11 unique shows with a whopping 96 hours a week of original Canadian content. Specialty channels just can't compare. In less than two years on air, we've punched above our weight. From breaking news to uncovering unique stories. Hello from Tuktoyaktuk on the Arctic Ocean. From all corners of Canada. And political junkies, take note, sun means politics. We crisscross the country to deliver the twists and turns of every provincial and federal election since our launch. We could be seeing some big changes, which makes this election night one to watch. And when it came time for election results in Ontario, Alberta, Manitoba, Quebec and Saskatchewan, Sun News delivered election specials from coast to coast. Meanwhile, CBC News Network and CTV News Channel played prepeats and repeats of their main network newscasts. Sun News shines alone when it comes to covering leadership races and other political events at the national and provincial level. And one of the things that has happened at Sun News, whether it's the liberal leadership or provincial politics, you've got coverage taking place here that you just don't see anywhere else anymore. And it's not ideologically driven, it's just this is kind of the political news junkie channel. Sun News is also a proud partner with TVA, Quebec's largest private news network. We work together to share stories from TVA and the Journal newspapers with a much broader Canadian audience. Despite the commitment to cover Canadian news stories ignored by CBC and CTV news channels, Sun News has been pushed to the sidelines by cable and satellite providers. Back when we started Sun News, we had no idea that two years after launch, we would only be offered in four out of ten households. It's really quite unbelievable because the Broadcasting Act itself says that distributors have to give a priority to Canadian programming. And here we are with major distributors like MTS and TELUS not even offering the channel to their customers. And worse still, distributors are paying a fraction of what they do for other English Canadian news channels. Sun News is not distributed on analog cable, so 20% of Canadian households don't even have the option to watch. This discriminates against elderly and low-income Canadians, both core demographics for Sun News. It's well documented that cable news attracts an older audience, and in this regard, Sun News is no different. But this presents a real challenge for us. Many older Canadians are living on a fixed income. Asking them or, or any Canadian to pay an extra $50 or even $100 a month to get a VIP or a premium cable package just so they can get Sun News isn't realistic. Market changes have made the process of getting a new channel listed even more difficult. In the last few years, Canada's largest broadcast companies have been swallowed up by cable and satellite providers. This puts BDUs in a potential conflict of what channels to list and how to list them. For example, Rogers replaced Sun News's Channel 15 placement with its own 24-hour news channel. This despite the fact Sun News had six times the ratings of City News. Is this an example of undue preference forbidden under CRTC regulations? And it's not just Rogers. BC One. Shaw just launched BC One, its new 24-hour news channel in BC, and not surprisingly, it's being offered in Shaw's basic cable package. Even more problematic are BDUs that are not even offering our channel. That's the case with former monopolies TELUS and MTS. TELUS says its news pack is already crowded, but it listed RTV, an English language Russian television channel, as part of its basic package, all while saying there's no room for 100% Canadian content like Sun News. This raises questions as to whether TELUS is meeting its obligations under the Broadcasting Act. MTS claims there's little interest in Sun News on the part of its customers, but common sense and our market research say otherwise. 
Sun News operates a studio in Winnipeg and has a daily show with one of the most popular broadcast personalities in the province. Oh, and did we mention we were the only all-news channel to offer extensive coverage of the Manitoba election campaign? The CRTC is moving to give consumers more choice and lower prices, but the market has moved in a different way. For millions of Canadians, television, phone and internet are bundled, often in multi-year contracts. So changing carriers to get one specific channel just isn't realistic. And in all of this, Sun News has been banished to the high 100s, even 500s in some cases. Sometimes I don't agree with what is said on Sun News Network, but I deserve the right to know and not look for a channel that is somewhere 556 and not know where to look when I want a piece of information. The CRTC decided long ago that promoting Canadian content meant putting it in places and time slots where Canadians can see it. Putting Sun News on channel 567 with a market reach of 40% is not consistent with the letter of the Broadcasting Act or with its enforcement over time by the CRTC. This begs the question, in the case of Sun News, are cable and satellite providers living up to their obligations under the Broadcasting Act to distribute Canadian content? Sun News is seeking a 91H order an extraordinary tool given to the CRTC to ensure the letter and spirit of the Broadcasting Act is fulfilled. Sun News speaks to and for Canadians of all walks of life, from persons with disabilities to military families, seniors and new Canadians. And our hard news straight talk approach is a departure from the traditional approach to news taken by our competition. Nobody else on any station in the country asks a hard question. It's always middle of the road, don't upset anybody. Sun actually gets to the truth. We never claim that Sun News speaks for all Canadians. No channel could ever pass that test. But we do speak for millions of Canadians, and we are telling stories that would otherwise not be told. We are adding voices to the debate that otherwise would not be heard. And we think that that really strengthens Canadian media, and it strengthens Canadian society. Our network meets the exceptional criteria set out by the Broadcasting Act. We engage Canadians, promote debate and provide programming that is essential to the maintenance and enhancement of national identity and cultural sovereignty. Sun News does an excellent job of covering both sides of the story. I think they're very balanced that way. Uh, but we also get the side of the story that some of the other networks never want to show us. And that is why Canadians support our proposal. By all means, I'm happy to pay the mandatory carry for all the others, but give us the choice so that we have the, the variety. What we find um, with the other news channels, there's no variety. It's the same song sheet they're singing from. Sun News provides something in, in greater depth than the others. As part of our application, we conducted a national survey and the results were clear. A majority of Canadians believe the CRTC has an important role to play in ensuring that channels like Sun News, channels that broadcast 100% Canadian content, are made available as part of every Canadian's basic cable package. We're proud to say 53,000 Canadians signed our online petition and another 5,000 wrote in to the CRTC all demanding Sun News be made available on basic cable. Our proposal will allow Sun News to establish an audience under similar rules afforded to the CBC and CTV at the time of their launch. In 1989, CBC News World launched with mandatory distribution for cable providers and a dial placement superior to its U.S. rivals. In granting this license, the CRTC cited the need to maintain Canada's information sovereignty. With CTV News One. In 1997, then-Prime Minister Jean Chrétien even helped launch CTV News One. There's no doubt these channels would not have survived without a license that resulted in broad distribution at a fair price. And 40 years of CRTC rulings and statements confirmed the need to put Canadian TV first. Sun News is not asking for a permanent 91H order. We request the CRTC take the same approach it did in 2009 for the Weather Network and Meteo Media and grant a five-year mandatory distribution order. Of course we hope the CRTC approves our application and in doing so put the ultimate fate of the network with Canadians themselves. After all, five years from now either Canadians will be watching this channel or they won't but it would be Canadians who've actually seen what it is that we put to air who would decide the fate of the network, not cable companies deciding for them. 
This is a really great opportunity for the CRTC to send a powerful message that Canadian television matters, that Canadian news matters, and to put Canadian TV first.